So, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, well, now what I want to talk about is uh, bad commitments. <laughs> when you have made a commitment and then you see that the commitment was not placed properly. Uh, this is something else that's, that age helps out a lot. And this is why I wanted to share this with you. Um, uh, when I make a commitment, I try, I mean, sometimes my commitment is I downright get right to the person. I face the person, I look them right in the eye, and I give them a commitment. Now, my commitments, I think, are a little more... Um, thorough, I guess, than uh, a lot of people's commitments. And uh, so when I make commitments, I try to leave uh, a loophole in this commitment. Um, in other words, before I make the commitment, I think it out. And I try to think about all the things that could go wrong. And all the things that could um, make me so I can't fulfill my commitment. And uh, so in other words, uh, seldom is there uh, just a completely full com uh, commitment. Like I say, now, most all of my commitments, people realize my commitments only uh, hold true when I am here. Uh, I say, because my here, it could be anywhere. And so uh, I seldom make commitments to like, people in China or people in Europe. Uh, because, like I say, it's difficult for me to make the presence. So, uh, uh, I, I make sure people understand that my commitment is only when my physical presence is here. And uh, if you've ever traveled with me, you will understand why. Because, like I say, we go through a system... Uh, if something's going to happen, if I do this, and then that means this, and that means that. I mean, I, I make sure people understand I've got a commitment. But to make this commitment work, there's certain things you've got to do. I mean, I can't just blindly commit to somebody that wants to go, you know, walk out in the middle of the street and let a car hit them. I mean, I can't do nothing about that. Uh, but uh, there are certain things that you have to understand before I can make these commitments work. There's certain things that you have to do to make these commitments work. Uh, another good example is the three-man militia. Now, uh, uh, with the other people in my militia on that particular subject on whatever it is, uh, I make sure that they understand we are in this together. And for me to commit, we have to stay focused on the same goals. And this, in other words, if somebody was to get off of our goals, and what, what's our goals? Um, is protecting ourselves, protecting our families, protecting our friends and protecting our local community. The secret word is protecting. I say, uh, that's why I'm saying the militia is not an aggressive type group. It's not an offensive type group. Uh, what we are is uh, self-defense. We are caring for ourselves in whatever particular type of militia that we're in. And as long as we stay focused 
on protecting all that stuff, then my commitment to the group is it's valid. I mean, it's going to stay like that until, like I say, we get off track. And then once we get off track, the militia will dissolve. Our friendship will dissolve. My commitment will dissolve. And so uh, that's why when you make these commitments, you need to be thorough and you need to make sure everyone understands uh, exactly uh, what your commitment is and what validates your commitment. And uh, uh, you have, they have to understand that that commitment, we're in this together type of commitment, is not uh, uh, just a soul kind of thing. Um, in other words, and my, my friends know that. Uh, and that's why we, we talk about being morally strong. As long as you stay moral on your actions, my commitment to you is, you know, it, it's there. There's nothing, I mean, there, nothing's going to break it. Now, when you start doing immoral acts, you know, I mean, what do you want me to do? You want me to commit to immorality? <laughs> you know, so it doesn't work that way. Just like I was talking about my friend that's got himself mixed up with a gal and uh, she's pregnant. You know what I mean? I got my commitment to my friend, but uh, it's, but it's not, not his baby. But like I say, he realized after this situation happened that uh, my commitment towards him will dissolve if he's going to uh, do immoral acts. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I mean, I have nothing wrong with having babies, but you need to commit to have the babies. Now, uh, if you're going to commit and you let me know what's going on, I can, you can count on me. I'll be there. But I have to know and understand what is going on. I have to know and understand what is going on is moral. Um, I think it's kind of plain by now on my videos, uh, I get my strength, my abilities by being morally strong. And every time I do something that's immoral or not right, I pay the price. I mean, nobody's perfect, you know, but I say the good thing is as I get older, there's a whole lot less immoral and, and acts I do that aren't right. And to lessen the chances of me being immoral and doing the wrong thing, I surround myself with good people that will advise me before I do something uh, immoral or, or improper. That's another reason for the three-man militia. So there's things we can do. And like I say, if you think you can do things as an individual, you can. You're going to be making a lot of mistakes. You're going to be paying the price. Uh, it's a lot easier, like I say, surrounding yourself with strong individuals. And then I also said you're the average of your five best friends. So these are the things that you can do that's going to increase your abilities to commit and commit to the proper things. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.